Hey guys, Beltrix Bretzel here. Thank you for joining me for another speed build. Uh, so this is sliding into place. I built it on a 30 by 20 lot. Um, it's a two bedroom, two bathroom, uh, though there is a third room on the ground floor that um, as a family ages up, I would turn into a third bedroom. Um, and it came out to 111,397 simoleons. Um, yeah, so let's just get to the build. Um, so here I am just trying to get the general shape of the house going. Um, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I haven't done this in a really long time. Um, just because the past uh, week and a half, maybe two weeks, uh, my videos were all pre-recorded. Because um, I knew I was starting... Uh, back at work. I'm helping out in my old job for a couple of weeks um, and I knew that, that was happening so I pre-recorded everything because I wasn't sure how much time I'd have uh, you know because I had a decent amount of shifts um, so <laughs> this is the first video in like two weeks or something that I'm actually doing a voiceover for so I feel like I'm a little out of practice or yeah anyways um so I just wanted uh, every single floor to be lined with, you know, the thick white trim. Um, so I just had to create floors on each level, including that of the roofs, so I can have that around and just covering it up with sliding. Um, so obviously we don't have actual garages or cars in The Sims 4, um, but I really wanted that look to the house. Actually, I really wanted to do a split level house and have, um, you know, a garage on a lower floor and then, you know, the house raised up above, but can't do that in The Sims 4, so I just went with a very, very low, um, you know, a very small raise and I just put those um, garage door things, which is really just a place for someone to paint. Um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that's that's what I did. Um, I really hate when you can see the roofs through the houses. It's so frustrating having to edit the roof for that. Um, and then on the side there, that little that little I don't know, two by two square or whatever with the roof on top, because I lowered the roof it was hiding in. It no longer looked good, and I was just like changing that a whole bunch. And I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking about things that I don't really know what to say. Uh, things that... It's one of those days where I don't know what to say, so... Maybe I should just stop talking. Which, you know, it's, it's perfectly timed because uh, we are actually about to meet the family, and this is something I recorded a while ago, so I can actually stop talking right now. <laughs> um, yeah, I just finished the layout here. I was just testing to see if... Um, the beds fit properly in that room and it didn't so I had to redo the layout of the ground floor um, and there it is. Alright, it's time to meet the Harvey family. Um, so this is Kenneth Harvey, um, the dad. <laughs> so he has the nerd brain aspiration. He's ambitious, he is outgoing, and he's good. Um, and in my head, he has, uh, he picked the doctor career path. Um, so this is his everyday outfit. Here is his formal. Here is his athletic wear, his sleepwear, his party wear, and his swimwear. All right, moving on to his wife who is a little younger than he is. Um, so she's a young adult and he is just a full-on adult. Um, so she has the super parent aspiration, which just came out with the new parenthood pack. Um, she is family oriented. She loves the outdoors and she's creative. Um, so in my head, she's like a journalist um, and she also like paints on paints and gardens on her own off like on her own time. Um, yeah, so this is her everyday outfit. Here is her formal, her athletic, 
her sleepwear, her party wear, and her swimwear. Uh, moving on to the first of their two kids, their twin kids. Um, this is Christopher Harvey. He has the uh, ro rambunctious scamp. Um, it's not a trait and it's not really an aspiration. I don't know what to call it, but that's what he is. <laughs> um, and his trait is active. Um, so this is his everyday outfit. Here is his formal, his athletic, his sleepwear, his party, and his swimwear. And then there's his twin sister, Christy Harvey. She is a whiz kid, um, and she's a bookworm. Uh, so this is her everyday outfit. That's her formal, her athletic, her sleepwear, her party wear, and her swimwear. Uh, yeah. That's it. I really wish we had, like, some sort of, like, dancing career option. Because even though she's, like, a whiz kid and I could see her growing up, like, super, super smart and she could probably do something, like, super academic career-wise. Um, I, like, I kind of want her to make, like, I kind of want to make her, like, a mini ballet dancer. I don't know. I think that'd be adorable. Um, but yeah, that is the Harvey family and let's get to the furnishing of this house. Alright, so now that we met the family, let's get to furnishing this place. Um, something I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, because I just completely forgot about it, um, was that when I built this house, um, I think the Parenthood expansion, or pack whatever, uh, game pack thing, whatever it's called, um, just came out, like, I think I started this the day it came out or something, and I hadn't uh, purchased it yet, so... There are no objects or wallpapers or anything from that pack in this build, um, but I did use some of the create a sim objects or clothes, hairs, whatever on the family because I created them after I purchased the game pack. Um, yeah, but my next build that will be coming out on Friday uh, is a family home that I am working on. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a family home that I'm working on so that I can uh, just use a bunch of those new objects. Um, so I'm sure you guys have seen plenty of other videos uh, by plenty of other sim YouTubers who've, you know, made amazing houses uh, with that pack. And I'm just going to add one more to the collection. <laughs> um, and that'll be out on Friday. Uh, yeah. So here I am just working on the parents' bedroom, and I, I, I'm not sure if this is true. I built this house a little while ago, and I'm trying to look at the screenshots really quickly, and I... The screenshots are so small right now, because, well, obviously they're not on screen. Um, I'm looking at them on, like, my little side panel, uh, and they're too small to tell, but I, f I feel like... I feel like I changed up the room after after I finished uh, recording. I'm not sure. Um, anyways, whatever version is featured in the screenshots is what will be up to on the gallery for download. Um, I'm not sure if I change it. We'll find out soon enough. We'll find out together. <laughs> um, Alright, so here I am just trying to fill up that empty space in the master bedroom. Um, I've been dropping things all day. Like, I just knocked down the TV remote and I lost the backing for it under the couch and I just lost my earring. Like, I keep dropping everything. It's just, this is one of those days where apparently I can't talk properly and I just drop everything. Yeah. Okay. Um, so here we go. I am working on the kids' bedroom. Um, so Chris and Christy will be sharing this bedroom. Um... I think I originally planned on making this bedroom for two girls, and then in Create a Sim I decided I wanted there to be a son in the family too. Um, but I, I mean, it still worked out, you know, I think the room works you know, great no matter what gender those kids are, so yeah. <laughs> um, 
Uh, so it's just a, I put a dining room table there so they could have a shared desk. Uh, they don't have any computers there because they need room for their homework. Um, and their kids, they don't need a computer in their bedroom. They could just ask permission and go use their parents' computer or something. Um, yeah, so as you guys can probably tell, Christy had a lot of say in the decoration. She wanted butterflies all over the walls. <laughs> um, yeah, and those trophies are... I feel like most of them would be Chris's, and maybe Christy has a couple of them, you know. Um, maybe they're academic awards, or maybe even she... You know, she might even have... Um, some athletic ones too. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry for all those um, flashes of black that say be right back or whatever it says. Um, I kept pressing uh, my, the windows button instead of the alt button so it kept bringing me back to my computer menu in the middle of building. Um, yeah but it's you know it's just a when it's sped up it comes out to less than a second of time so I didn't really bother editing that out. You're not missing anything from the build, so... Yeah. Um, so that little playroom downstairs, uh, I would turn that into a second bedroom when the uh, twins turn into teenagers. Um, you know, one of them will be lucky enough to have a bigger bedroom. <laughs> They'll have to fight it out. <laughs> uh, yeah, so here we go, working on the living room. Um, and I do bring a test sim in very soon just to make sure that they could actually get to that other room behind the couch i wasn't actually sure if they could fit and they did um tested out fine so that is not an issue if you guys download this house um i don't know if i filmed the test or not but it is fully possible for your sim to get to that back room there so yeah, alright, so you have an armchair, a nice little couch, a bookcase, and then just a couple of shelves under the windows that I filled up completely with books. Um, obviously I had to use the move object sheet because those are not uh, the kind of objects that just, you know, click into place on shelves. Which sucks, but, you know, whatever. This is another reason why I'm excited for the parenthood pack, because um, it's full of clutter items and it's just, it's going to be so much fun. <laughs> um, yeah, alright. I should focus on talking about this build sometime, not my next one. Um, so I just needed an extra little table so I could put, you know, a musical device thing, radio thing, or in this case a record player. I really can't talk today, can I? <laughs> um, so I figured I'd use something that matched the TV stand and I'd sort of make it look like one piece of furniture that was stuck together. Um, it's just another little table there from, for some added decoration with a mirror on top. Um, mostly just to fill up the space. <laughs> um, yeah, and there we go. Another little wall decorations. A couple more de wall decorations is how I should have phrased that. Um, and some curtains. Uh, I, I'm not sure if every room has curtains or not. I want to say they do, but... I might have forgotten. <laughs> um, so yeah, just putting a couple curtains here and there. Uh, yeah, the kids' bedroom, I really didn't put that many because it was just interfering with um, the location of the object. So yeah. Um, okay, is the... Oh. Hold on. I'm going to stop this voiceover because something is glitching on my end right now. Alright, so that wasn't a glitch. I guess I just stepped away from my computer for a little while and then stopped recording. Um, there were quite a few seconds of that actually, so I just um, I just cut you know, the footage of nothing happening. <laughs> um, yeah, alright, so just finishing up these curtains, trying to make it somewhat matched throughout the entire house. Um, yeah. So this little back room, uh, which is the access to the backyard, I was looking for inspiration. I had no idea what to do for this room. Um, and I end up putting a piano. Um, none of the Simpsons family are like into music or anything, but I don't know. It's a, it's a nice thing to have. <laughs> um, you know, maybe, maybe one of these Sims, maybe, uh, Kenneth, the dad, or Britta, the mom. 
at some point in their lives played piano and they just kept it there or you know maybe one of their parents played piano and uh, maybe if when the parents died the grandparents died they wanted to keep the piano you know maybe it was just such a nice part of them or something I don't know <laughs> you guys can decide why there's a piano there or you guys can delete it and put you know I don't know a painting uh, not a painting an easel there or some exercise machines you know anything um yeah okay so working on the kitchen now um so much storage kitchen with storage that is my dream it is definitely not what I currently have <laughs> um yeah so just putting some appliances and then some decorative items like those little tea things the yeah <laughs> tea bags and uh mugs and stuff and then little pots and pans hanging over there napkins salt and paper on the table just a couple little details and then those adorable little curtains all over <laughs> um and just trying to fill it up with some decorative items to just make it look like it's been lived in <laughs> uh there we go here is the huge entrance um that of course i had no idea what to do with because i just never know what to do with these entrances <laughs> um i think i always use those plants under um under stairs it's just it's because there's three of them and i just feel like it just fits snow snow snugly Yep, that's exactly what I wanted to say. So snugly there. Um, and it just adds something to that empty space. Um, yeah, anyways. Uh, using cheats to get some extra items, like that pile of fan mail. Um, which is just used to be a pile of mail that maybe they haven't gone, the parents haven't gone through yet. Whether it's bills or other things people get in the mail what other things do you get in the mail in the form of letters like i don't know anyone who actually writes and mails letters anymore anyways um <laughs> finally working on the exterior of the house because i finally finished the inside um and i wanted this front path i didn't want it to just be a straight line i wanted it to have some sort of interesting shape to it so i tried you know curving it a bunch shaping it and that's what i ended up with <laughs> Um, and then just putting a couple of flowers here and there to try and brighten the place up a little bit. Um, and here we go. Just a bunch of gray little pebbles there to sort of make it look like a driveway. Um, and I put these bushes all around the house. Um, I actually think it looks really cute. I think it's a nice way to add some privacy to your fences. Um, and just to your house. Like, fences can be really ugly. Um, I find so having some like plants there just looks really good. Um, yeah. So here I'm gonna do a uh, a plant. Um, I don't know what to call these things. I'm just so tired. I can't think. Um, it's a little area for plants. Um, and I just hit my mic. I apologize. And I did this very something very similar to this in my very very modern build that I posted last week and I really liked how it looked so what why is my let's play here I'm gonna stop talking right now I clearly should pay more attention um, when I load footage onto my editing software um, yes I know I could have edited um, that out but it was kind of funny <laughs> um, and it didn't really harm the video just randomly interrupted it um yeah anyway so i did a very similar thing with plants on my last modern build and i really liked how it looked so i decided to uh recreate it a little bit here with that little patch in the front um yeah so the backyard or at least the back deck i think is a little weird but i really like it so the door leading there it leads to an enclosed um back deck which has a gate to the second part of the back deck where you can actually access the backyard i'm not sure why i closed it off um and yeah i probably should have put the door um to the unenclosed space but i don't know i really liked how it looked i thought it was really cute so i went with it <laughs> um and here we just have a little area so that britta can 
plant some stuff, plant flowers or veggies or whatever she wants. Um, yeah, I think it's just, I just think it's really cute. <laughs> it's a good thing that I think it's cute, isn't it? Um, considering I'm the one who built it. <laughs> um, yeah, so here we go. Just adding a little pop of color with that little step ladder thing. Um, then a nice little picnic table so they can eat their barbecued food as a family. Oh, I didn't end up using the picnic table. Wow. <laughs> um, a nice table so they can eat, eat their barbecued food as a family. Um, and then that slip and slide rug thing and the monkey bars. And then just I uh, put a bunch of fountain details um, things <laughs> around the house. So I put them on the side there and I think I put them in the front as well. Yeah, right there. Um, I just think it adds something interesting. Um, little water decoration. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think, you know, I put a couple plants in there, and I think this is pretty much, um, how I end the look of the backyard. Um, alright, well, while I'm putting plants, I'm gonna quickly look at the screenshots, um, of the master bedroom. Okay, so, I think I kept the master bedroom pretty much the same, um, but apparently the big bookcase that I put close to the door that leads to the master bedroom is gone and I don't remember deleting it and I know that I've just watched this footage over um and maybe I did delete it but and it just did not click but <laughs> I don't remember de deleting that big bookcase and it is gone um so if you guys saw it let me know in the comments below if you guys caught me deleting it or if it literally just disappears um I didn't I did not bother re-adding it because I actually think it just, it looks fine with a blank wall too. Like, actually the book, I prefer it without the bookcase there to be honest. Um, I think just walking in and having a bookcase shoved right into your face, like, ugh, it could be a little weird. So, I decided not to re-add it. Um, yeah. Here I am just messing with terrain paints to make it look a little bit more realistic. Um, dirt all over the plants and by the edges of the house because I mean grass probably won't grow very well there because you know there's a big honking building right on top there um yeah uh so here I am trying to fit a car um without it looking awkward up front and it could have worked out if the lot was a little bit bigger um and I could have straightened out the car but having it at an angle just did not work out for me like yeah, I probably could have, um, you know, you can definitely get your car onto an angle onto your, like, parking spot, but it just, it did not look good. Um, I did not enjoy it, so, yeah. Anyways, this is the end of the build. You have a couple of extra seconds of nothingness for some odd reason. If I wasn't talking through this, I would delete that footage. Um, but anyways, here are the screenshots. I hope you guys enjoyed this build. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, leave a comment below, check out my other videos. Um, and as always, there will be a link in the description below to where you can download this house and this family. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I apologize for all the things that went wrong, like, um, Having my Let's Play pop in there, um, me, you know, recording without actually doing anything for a couple of seconds, and most of all, I am sorry for my talking <laughs> um, and all the things that I say that I shouldn't say because it just sounds really, really weird. Yeah. Um, anyways, this is the end of the build. I hope you guys have a lovely day, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.